Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kyle Jones. Hey, uh, a little something different now. The, uh, yeah, I'm on my way elk hunting. Uh, yeah, been fishing. This is the first chance I've had to take an out of town elk hunting trip in a long time. So, pretty excited. We're gonna hunt, uh, we're gonna scout tomorrow. Season opens on November 1st. And uh, we're gonna hunt a couple of days. And then I gotta get back to fishing for a few more before we maybe, uh, get out and do a little bit of hunting after that so anyway we're gonna give you guys some day-to-day -day updates on this and uh as we ride along so welcome to uh yeah the jones boys 2021 elk hunt we'll catch you guys later bye pretty amazing that we're leaving country this beautiful to head to even more beautiful country you know it's pretty incredible, we were so blessed. But yeah, this will be my first time hunting off the Palouse in a long time, so gotta love it. It's probably gonna be late when we get into camp, but uh, we'll see you guys when we get there. Somewhere around midnight. Bye. When I'm traveling this way, I always figure as soon as I come around this corner that I'm about to do something cool. There's nothing quite like dropping into the Salmon River Canyon here. The river is absolutely amazing, dividing the state. In my mind, North Idaho starts on this side and Southern Idaho starts on the other. Beautiful. I've hunted a lot of this country. On our way, it's gonna be late by the time we get to camp. Day one, <clears throat> season opens tomorrow, but uh, Brett and I are gonna go try to find some bulls today. I got out in here last night, uh, a little after midnight. Found this Ford with the wide hips. I know who that is. Anyway, stay tuned, guys. We're gonna see if we can't go find some bulls. Brand new country for us, so this will be fun. Gonna make some coffee first, though. We'll have coffee shortly. Drive up to the road. Morning. Want to drive up that way? Yeah. Hi, Blue. No, stay blue. Don't crawl out the window. We made it up here. The elk we spotted this morning that we're going to try to make game plan on tomorrow. We're another thousand feet up, but kind of up here on this ridge. You can see just absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah. Kind of move all this year, but one of them looks big. big. Uh, yeah. Hey, we're back in camp. We're up there on the mountain. We got a pretty good plan together. Saw a number of bulls, a whole bunch of cows, uh, some good bulls. Problem is, the good bulls are like <laughs> ridiculously high. But we're going to go after him tomorrow. We're going to get up, get out of here, probably start hit the trail. We're going to hit the trail about 3 o'clock in the morning and get up the mountain. And there's a few other guys that are camped just above, and they watched us go up in there. So I'm sure we're going to have a little bit of competition tomorrow. So anyway. <laughs> us? Competition? Yeah. <laughs> Brett's not worried about it. <clears throat> so our goal is to get up in there ahead of all those guys, and I think we'll be able to do it pop up in there and get up on the ridge and see if we can't glass up a bull and kill him. That's our plan. Anyway, got our little camp set up. It's not much. Jones boys roll pretty simple. It's kind of nice when you throw all your entire hunting camp in the back seat of your pickup. That's uh, everything I own in life. <laughs> Look at that guy. Sticks. Anyway, we'll catch you guys later. Stay tuned for tomorrow. And uh, hopefully we got a bull to kill. Show you guys. Anyway, make sure you guys subscribe. We'll catch you guys later.
What's up guys? Red and I are up here on top of the world. At least it feels like the top of the world. Pretty cool. We got up here. We took off out of camp about 3 in the morning. Now it's like 10 after 3. Got up here, spent the last two hours freezing our ass off in the dark. <laughs> and then there's a bunch of elk. There. The problem is, almost fell over. But the problem is, there's only one bull in there. Or we can hear some bugling. There might be another bull, but we can we can see the one. And then there's some spikes and a bunch of cows. So, which any of those elk are legal. But knowing how far up here we came, I'm only gonna shoot that bull. But uh, we haven't seen any of the monsters. We saw we saw a group of really nice bulls yesterday morning. We haven't seen them yet. But who knows? There's a lot of elk up here. Ball just kind of rolling. And there was elk on ridges below us too. So anyway, stay tuned. This might get interesting. Hey, hello. <laughs> Out of breath, but uh, I kind of tried to make a move on one of those bulls. We were not spot there was there was probably too many cows but uh <clears throat> kind of bumped them over the hill here as you can see here <sighs> i don't know i think they call this sheep country instead of elk country but they're up in here this is their sanctuary so they can come follow me here it's the herd um i'm gonna keep shouting one little along through these rocks to see if i can't get one down here below me so I don't know I think they're starting to go back up there's the saddle so I think I'm gonna need to hop back up over the top of the hill here and uh, I guess just kind of cut them off anyway whew, this is pretty crazy country chasing elk around in crazy awesome right. well I was never able to get around on that bunch of elk that I was chasing up there in the rocks and to get around on them the way I needed to go went totally cliffed out. So I went that plan. But uh, Brett found me. He actually found my headlamp too. So we're sitting here on the side of the mountain and uh, it's time to regroup and uh, find some more elk and see if we can't kill one. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to uh, day three of <sighs> our late season. Both of them are okay. Yeah. We chased, chased bulls around yesterday at 8,000 feet. And man, I'm not in that good of shape anymore, but getting there. But uh, yeah, it's just amazing. Amazing place. We chased elk around yesterday. And I mean, that's all we could ask for. You know, I had got to about 200 a little over 200 yards from a bull that I would have shot. I needed 100 and about 180. 180 is 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 that absolutely as far as I want to shoot. Um, I'm pretty dialed in, but uh, yeah, any farther than that 180, and I'm just I'm just not in a in a good place. But uh, yeah, so getting a little bit later start today. It's a couple hours before daylight. Um, we got a little bit different plan. There's another little ridge to go up that there was. There was elk on the, yesterday, and they were lower, and there were some bulls mixed in there. So uh, we're going to work that ridge up instead of trying to get high and uh, glass them up, although we walked into some yesterday, which was pretty sweet. That high country is just so open that, um, and the snow that's up there is crunchy, and so it's just going to be really, really difficult to uh, get within, you know, killing range with a muzzle loader of a an elk up there so we're gonna try to stay a little lower see if we can catch one of these other bulls making a mistake and uh, we'll see if we can capitalize but yeah stay tuned guys I'm a little groggy this morning a little sore but ready to rock and roll so day two hunting stay tuned <laughs> It's 
Brett and I this morning are working our way up this drainage. Where we spotted elk on one of these finger ridges yesterday. And uh, we are worn out from the last few days, so we're not going anywhere in a hurry, but the tortoise does win the race. So we're gonna get up there and work up those fingers and we're not going high to glass today. We're going we're going after them and kind of hunt the fingers and slowly move our way up that ridge, see if we can't get shot from it. Uh, yeah. Mm. Draw a tag and say, hey, Brett, you want to go hunting? No thanks. <laughs> well, we got up here, hunted our way up, and it looks like the elk that were on this ridge yesterday have moved on. Um, found some boot tracks, so they probably got bumped out of here yesterday. Um, anyway, they're just working our way up. You can see down there, down there in the bottom what we started so you can see clear up over here behind us where we were yesterday down. yeah Ooh. yeah so still at it hopefully we can get lucky and bump something as we make a big big loop on out of here look at some country and uh never know you're always hunting even when you're walking back to the truck always hunt your way out Oh, so it appears that uh, most of the elk that were in that drainage the last couple of days have bailed. So we just uh, hustled down off the mountain near four miles and 2,000 feet down. And we're going to jump in the truck and uh, drive to the other side of the unit. Tonight I'm, I'm done hunting for these couple of days. Tonight i got to go home and fish for about a week. And then... Uh, after that the week after that like the 13th or so we're coming back over for five days so we got to go check out the other part of the unit see if that's a plan we want to make and then uh get up in the morning and make the eight hour jaunt home but anyway guys it's been absolutely beautiful and uh hope you guys are enjoying this just these little updates we don't have any other fancy camera here but little updates are kind of fun anyway we'll chat to you guys later hopefully we can go find some elk hey guys it's Kyle again. Hey, uh, yeah, yesterday Brett and I came over and scouted a different part of the unit. We were just able to drive in here and kind of get eyes on it before it got dark. But uh, yeah, it's absolutely, as you can see, just absolutely huge, beautiful country, lots of big canyons. We're pretty excited. This trip, as far as I'm concerned, well, I got to head home today. I got to be back fishing on the clear water tomorrow. Um, so it's a little bittersweet excited about that but man i'm i'm hooked on the big woods again you know this trip for us um for me i've got such incredible hunting really close to home but we just don't have i grew up hunting this kind of stuff this big open big mountain stuff and just been longing for it longing to go back to the big country and so yeah we've got really good elk hunting at home and Honestly, I probably have a better chance of killing a bull at home in a place that I know, but man, the adventure coming down here and uh, seeing new territory, experiencing elk using ridges at 9,000 feet, you know, where we feel like we should have been chasing bighorns. Um, just just absolutely incredible. Um, to have an opportunity, we had an opportunity, a big six point on opening morning and a nice raghorn or a nice five point. It wasn't even really that much of a raghorn. It was just, I mean, it was just cool. I had a whole bunch of cows and see 11 bulls the first day of scouting and find, what, eight of those bulls on opening morning and had a chance at one of them was uh, pretty, pretty absolutely incredible. So, ah, it's hunting with a muzzleloader, but 
we will be back. We, uh, we've learned some really cool things and there's some awesome people that have helped us. So hopefully you guys are enjoying these kind of daily vlog type updates. Um, I know I am. It's going to be fun to be able to look back at this and see what we were doing and, and that kind of stuff. So anyway, yeah, it's all about hunting the, the big country and the adventure and I don't know, quality time spent with my brother is pretty amazing. We haven't had a chance to hunt like this in a long time. So anyway, a couple of weeks, we'll be back. Hopefully this whole base will be full of snow and there'll be elk running everywhere. But uh, who knows? Who knows? It's all new. So this is this has been a blast. And I uh, just want to thank my amazing wife and family for allowing me to get away for a little bit and recharge the mental batteries and get the legs worked out. So anyway, guys, we hope that you guys keep watching this. We're going to do more of these. So make sure you guys subscribe to our channel and uh, watch out for more content um, we have coming. So. Make sure you subscribe to that Jones Sport Fishing channel. Um, we'll be posting most of this stuff here for a while. We do have some other stuff in the works, but uh, we'll let you know about that stuff as it comes along. So hit that subscribe button, push the notification, and uh, yeah. Next time we'll see you is later this week for a Clearwater Report. Talk to you later, guys.